Scientists in the Tennessee Valley are on a quest to diagnose rare diseases, and they're using a rare form of genetic testing to do it. Our Kanisha Diaz spoke with scientists at the Hudson Alpha Institute for Biotechnology about their efforts ahead of Rare Disease Day. In Alabama, we think there's about 400,000 people who have rare conditions. Hudson Alpha faculty investigator Dr. David Fick says at least 90% of people with rare conditions don't have an FDA approved drug. Scientists are using what's called whole genome sequencing to find diagnoses. There are about 20,000 genes in humans. And with this technology, with this technique of whole genome sequencing, we can look at all of them at once. And so what our software allows us to do is it will show us those DNA changes which are potentially deleterious. Hudson Alpha certified genetic counselor Megan Cochran says whole genome sequencing was a last resort, but over time this simple test requiring blood samples have become more affordable. By engaging with more individuals from diverse backgrounds and building up those databases, then when we do have a patient who is suspected of having a very rare disease, it makes it much easier for the lab to be able to sort through. However, scientists say there is a lack of diversity for whole genome sequencing. The database is built largely on people with European descent. Scientists say there's a lot of work to be done. It's important that people are aware of rare diseases. And that's the importance of Rare Disease Day, is really to appreciate that rare diseases are not rare as a group. And Hudson Alpha is hosting a virtual 5K for childhood genetic disorder research. You can help by visiting rocketcitynow.com. Putting the Valley first, Kanisha D's WZDX News.